Hey guys, we added two new features to the Blur Bidding. Now you will be able to place your bids or cancel your bids according to the size and bidder count. So what it essentially means is if I enter one to the input size, the system is going to undercut this one and going to place 0.16. Or if I enter four here, the system is going to place 0.15. You can do the same thing for bidders. So this represents the number of bidders at this price range. So if I enter one here, since there is only one bidder here, it is going to place 0.16. And if I enter four here, since there is one plus three, four bidders here, it is going to undercut this price range and it is going to place 0.15. Keep in mind that the system doesn't include your bits when you are doing this. So when you see this, actually we are going to see that screen soon enough. It shows it as U plus three bits or U plus five bits, whatever. So the system doesn't include your bits. It only looks at the competitor bits. So let's go ahead and test the system and see how it works. So my first test is going to be, actually I'm going to write it here so we don't forget it. Uh, my input is going to be one. I'm going to enter one to the size field and I'm going to expect system to send a bit of 0 0.16. 0 0.16. Alright, I'm going to enter my blur token and my private key. So I'm getting the blur token with the extension and I'm going to paste my private key. I'm going to enter my default values, so 0 0.01 and I'm Entering 4.2. This actually doesn't mean that I'm going to be sending 4.2. This is just my max bit. It means that I'm okay to go up to this value. And I'm going to toggle on under cut by option. And I'm going to enter 1 to the size field. Alright, let's go ahead and place our bits. I don't know, but I found these results on search. Yeah, Google Home started talking on its own. Alright, the bit is sent. Uh, let's check it on blur so i'm going to refresh the page as you see there is one bit that is sent so it sent 0.16 so this condition has been met as you see so now let's check uh, let's make another test let's cancel this bit uh, actually it said it has probably sent another one because loop was on and so I'm going to stop this. All right, let's start over and test another condition. This time I'm going to keep the loop toggled off. And as you see, there is a condition here. It says and. I can change it and or. I can change it to or as well. So what it means is if you use the and condition, the system requires both conditions to be met. If you use or condition, only one condition being met is enough. So if I enter, let's check actual value, so let's enter something meaningful. If I enter 4 in the bidder's column or bidder's input field, and if I leave it at end, the system is going to check this one first, and the condition for this one is 1, and it's going to meet this criteria. However, then it's going to check this column, and in this column, it's going to see that this bidder count is not sufficient because I'm looking for at least four bidders. Then it is going to check the second price range, and then it's going to see three bidders here. It is one plus three. However, my input is not in my range because I entered four here. If I had entered three here, it would have been in this range. Since I entered four, it is going to still keep looking and it is going to go down another step and it's going to place its bid at 0 0.15. Let's check it. I'm going to enter my uh, blue token and private key again. So right now I entered, let me make another one here. Uh, I entered 1 to the size and 4 to the bidders, right? Yeah. So here I would expect it to go to this value, which is 0 0.15. But this time my value is going to be 0 0.15. All right, let's update it. Let's refresh the page. As you see, it sent a bit of 0 0.15. Now I'm going to cancel it and test another condition. So this is, it was already <laughs> green actually, so I don't have to uh, do it all over again. 
and let's check something else all right now let's check the all condition and see what happens i think you already know the answer because this time it is going to be sufficient for system to meet only one criteria since i'm using the all on all condition if i enter one here i would expect the system to uh, send a bit of 4.16 i'm going to stop this one and enter my values people ask why we don't save the private key it is because of safety measures we are not saving the private keys in our system or in your computer it is only in your browser so it is just safer this way i know it is a terrible user experience to uh, copy and paste them each time but i believe it is a lot safer than saving it in the browser all right the condition is already on or and i'm going to start bidding so as i mentioned since it is using the or condition now it's going to be sufficient one criteria to be met so i expect the system to send a bid of 0.16 yeah here we go all right i'm going to stop this one again if you would remember earlier i had mentioned that system wouldn't count your bits and this is what i meant right now blur shows it as u plus three and the system only counts three it doesn't count your bits it's a simple yet important metric to keep in mind all right there is one little thing that might confuse you which is the number you enter here in the size input field must be smaller than the sum of these numbers so basically as you have already seen if we enter one here it is not smaller than one so it undercuts this one if i had entered four here it is not going to be smaller than the size of these two numbers it is and it's going to place its bits here why because it is smaller than the size of 2 plus 3 plus 1 which is 6 uh, it actually applies for this one too so the sum of these three sizes are 6 if i enter 5 here it is going to be here in this field so it is going to place a bit of 0.15 however if i enter 6 since 6 is not smaller than the sum of these fields it is going to place its bit at 0.14 because 6 is smaller than the sum of these numbers which is 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1 which is basically 9 if i'm not wrong and then it applies for 9 again it's basically the same story if i enter 8 here it is going to be here in this price range however if i enter 9 by here again i mean the input size since 9 is not smaller than the sum of all these numbers it is going to place its bit here and it's so on like if i enter 10 or like whatever 13 always the system will check the sum of these numbers from top down and it is going to go down uh, as long as the criteria is not met and at the point that it is met it is going to stop and send your bits all right it is actually very simple but at the same time very complicated uh, if you get confused feel free to send questions or ask questions in the discord channel you can tag me or you can create a ticket and tag me or ask in the general chat whatever you feel more comfortable with all right guys have a good one i already explained the auto cancel logic and how it works in the previous video uh, auto cancel in this one also works with the same logic if you have any questions regarding that one you can also ask it, ask it in the discord have a good one and happy trades and happy point farming